Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. K-Dog. And on this episode, it was the London Toy Fair this week, and they announced a crap load of brand new Funko. We're going to review them and tell you which ones we like. Let's go. Welcome back. So, the London Toy Fair was this week, and there were so many Funko Pops announced. Uh, we thought we would share it with you guys, review some, what our yep. favorites are, what we're looking forward to. Let's get right into it. Uh, yeah. The thing that I was most excited about was it is the 40th anniversary for, in my opinion, the greatest Star Wars film of all time, Agreed. Empire Strike Back. I agree. So there's really cool pops that are coming out. Uh, I think off the top of my head, the one of the coolest has to be the Luke on Tauntaun. Luke on Tauntaun is awesome. If you guys remember back, what, three years ago, there was a Han on Tauntaun, which was part of a smuggler's bounty box. Yeah. When um, you could still get them in Canada. When you could get them yeah. in Canada. And it was direct through Funko. It's not through Amazon anymore. Yeah. Again, because I'm getting a little critical in my old age, the new smuggler's bounties box is coming through about smuggler's bounties box is coming through Amazon. Yeah. I don't like them as much. I think they're much, they were much, much better. Back, back in, in the, the day. day. Back in the day. Yeah, you had Luke Speeder. Luke on the land speeder. Yeah. You had, I mean, they're doing some movie moments, which are cool and stuff. But yeah. I think since it's been switched to the Amazon, I'm not as crazy about it. Put your comments in there. Again, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys like the pops that are coming down there. I just think they were cooler back in the day. But um, I actually, the first yeah. ever Funko Pop I ever got yeah. from you as yeah. a gift was the Han on Tauntaun. That's an amazing pop. And it, yeah. it got me into collecting. If yeah. you guys, even on this video, now that we brought this up, put in the comments, yeah. what was the pop that got you collecting? We'd love to know that. We want to know. Uh, so in the series as well, there's going to be a Han and Leia two pack. It's the outfits they're wearing right before he gets frozen in carbonate. Yep. We also have Han in frozen carbonate. Very cool pop. Which, yeah. by the way, I, I, I literally can't wait. We did yeah. see a semi version of this uh, in a smuggler's bounty box last yeah. year, which was Boba gets his bounty and yeah. Boba Fett's pushing the slab. Yeah. Uh, that is really cool, but this will be its own Han and frozen carbonate. Yeah. Uh, we were curious if it bobbles because yeah. all Star Wars pops bobble. Yeah. And we did get confirmed from a customer of ours, Steve, who was a great channel, G Boats yeah. Vinyl. Shout out to G Boats. Yep. Um, that he sent us a video on Instagram and it does confirm that Han on in frozen carbonite pop will bobble. Yeah. So that's really cool. Cool. What else did we get? Uh, there's the Luke with Yoda on his back training yeah. in Dagobah. Training in Dagobah. Cool pop. Uh, and then Yoda and his hut, which is the, uh, the towns. Pop, pop towns. towns. Yeah. It's okay. It does. Uh, it's, I don't know. I think they did the hut cool. I, oh, yeah. I just hope the details were there. Yeah. Like, yeah, it'll be interesting. It's okay. I'm only, I'm giving it like a seven. <laughs> and the coolest yeah. in the set though, that was announced. Oh yeah. The, the Vader in his meditation chamber, which yes. is, that's a, a just a 10. That is so it's cool. It's awesome. It's amazing. While we're discussing yeah. and reviewing some of these announcements, and there's so many, so we can't mention can them, them all. all. Yeah. Uh, but we'll mention a few, what our favorites are and some of the series that we like. Mm -hmm. uh, but as we're talking about them too, I'll display some images so you guys can see what they look like. Yeah. Uh, next up, there's a lot of Harry Potter in this reveal. Just never going away it's so funny there hasn't been a new movie in forever like they have the 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 prequel series right. the crimes of grindel 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 grindelwald Wald. yeah well, something yeah like that. uh but the new like harry potter itself there hasn't yeah. been a new movie or book in for in forever they ended the the series yeah but there's no shortage of harry potter funko pops yeah, and I'm not into Harry Potter, so again, Fish is going to take this away. I, <laughs> I'm still on the first movie, and I started that 13 years yeah. ago. So I'm reading in, the books with my son, yeah. and then we finish a book and watch the movie. We're on book three, which yeah. is the Prisoner of Azkaban, and so I, I was actually shocked by the reveal that they hadn't done a Harry Potter in invisibility cloak yet, which is kind of a big thing. It's huge, um, it's massive. What are you doing? <laughs> he fun? knows. So we're excited to see that pop. I'm sure Harry Potter fans are excited. There's also some, uh, there's so many, but just to mention a couple, Ron uh, puking his slugs in a bucket. Again, um, how have I not watched these movies? <laughs> just classic. Classics. Uh, and some really cool 10-inch ones. So we're going to have a 10-inch Dumbledore with Fox and a 10-inch Voldemort with Nagini. 
Uh, those are very cool. I'd like to actually see them displayed side by side. That would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, other well, than Harry I, I Potter. I find that Voldemort looks a lot like Snoke. It is very Snoke-ish, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. That's my take on Harry Potter. There you Boom. go. Boom. You heard it here first. <laughs> Voldemort, Snoke. Brothers. Uh that we imagine that. Can you imagine that? Huh? Yeah. That would be a crossover. Yeah, there you go. They're just living in a condo and <laughs> like the odd the couple. Odd couple. <laughs> Voldemort is just a slob. <laughs> Snoke's like, pick up your look at this. Pick up your your snake. Your stupid Nagenic is just crapping all over the floor. I gotta clean it up. <laughs> you get an apartment together. That's uh, a Netflix series. There you eh? go. <laughs> we'll write it. We'll produce it. It's good. There you go. Yeah. Coming, Coming your next way. Year, yeah. Twenty twenty one. Uh, also, the release of London Toy Fair reveals we learned about new X Men pops, so we're going to get a, those are awesome. A Rogue, yep, and Gambit, yep. Uh, that one, like, we got a lot as soon as we were posting, obviously, about the reveals. Yeah, a lot of people want the Gambit, so it's about time we give Gambit some love because Gambit deserves some love. Yeah, he's 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 gotten the short end of the X Men stick. Yeah, yeah. hashtag Heart Gambit. There you go. There will also be some exclusive with that. Uh, Entertainment Earth is doing a glow-in-the-dark gambit. And I think Hot Topic... Hot Topic's doing a Rogue. He's doing a Rogue exclusive. So yeah. that's cool. Yep. Uh, He-Man, Masters of the Universe. Yeah, that's back. Yeah, so they, they lost... the. It was all out there that they had lost the license. Yeah, that was weird. We weren't going to get another He-Man pop ever again. Yeah. And then I think what I read, and you can correct me in the comments, what I read was that there's a new Masters of the Universe Netflix series. Mm-hmm. So Funko is able to do uh, licensing for that. So we're going to be able to get some more uh, Masters of the Universe pops. Mm-hmm. Uh, a bunch of new supplemental characters they've never done pops for yeah. before. They look cool, though. They're, they look cool. Yeah, yeah. I think that the one I'm most excited about is going to be uh, He-Man on Battle Cat. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Pop Ride and uh, 10-inch. 10-inch Skeletor, yeah. 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 That one looks yeah. so cool. Yeah. The He-Man on Battle Cat is just great. Yeah. That just That's just a great, it's classic. great pop. Love and again, it. we're going to pop up images so you guys can see what they look like. But Battle Cat will have the battle armor helmet. Oh, so it's, cool. it's just a wicked pop. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. All what right, next. Batman? Batman? Batman. 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 Vill- more villains, mostly. There is a lot of villains in this series. Villains. Is there? I think they're only villains. I think you're correct. Yeah. yeah. So from uh, is Catwoman the... really a villain? Yeah, Catwoman's a villain. Yeah, she's a villain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, he still tries to engage with her, but yeah, she's still a villain. Engage. I was keeping it PG. Uh, so Catwoman and Penguin from Batman Returns. The Penguin, the Danny DeVito Penguin, I think looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that pop. That's cool. Uh, then there's from Batman Forever. We have Two Face and Riddler, which is Tommy Lee Jones and Jim Carrey. Uh, funny, like they yeah. hated each other. Yeah, they really hate each other. You so <laughs> watch our, or not watch, listen to our podcast or just Google it. Yeah. Yeah, they, they I don't think they hated each other. It's Tommy just, Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones hated Jim Carrey yeah. is from what I was reading. Really funny it was story. Really interesting, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, also, we're getting the Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze, and the Poison Ivy. Who did Poison Ivy? Uma okay. Thurman? Uma Thurman. Yeah. Those pops are. In Batman and Robin. I don't care about those pops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the biggest... That's all I got to say on those. The coolest one from the Batman is going to be the 10-inch Dark Knight Joker. Yeah, that's cool. The Heath Ledger Joker. Yeah. That is yeah. really cool. Yeah. Um, also, some uh, worth mentioning, we're getting a lot of music. Lots of more music, actually. Yeah. Tons. Slipknot. Yeah. Slayer. Yeah. Salt and Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for some Salt and Pepper? Uh, also, uh, Willie, oh, Nelson. Will, Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. That one's cool. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I cannot wait yeah. for that pop. Uh, Easy E. Yeah. James Brown. Little Wayne. Little Wayne. Little Wayne. Uh, ZZ Top. Now, the rumor I heard is that on the ZZ Top pops, you know, the two dudes with the beards. Gotcha. The the beards are going to be flocked. That'll be amazing. So that'll be cool. If that's true, like, um, forget about it. Did you mention Shania Twain? I haven't mentioned Shania Twain. Though. Okay, Shania Twain is also one of them. Meh, I don't yeah. like the outfit they chose for her. But, I mean, we yeah. our pop shop, which is in the heart of Muskoka. Uh, Shania Twain visits here quite a bit. She has a cottage in the area. Mm-hmm. So maybe we can get her in for a pop signing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll do that next weekend. Yeah, yeah next you weekend. How's that for you guys? Give her for a little sure. shout we'll out. We'll do it, yeah. <laughs> sure, she's like, I'll be there, guys. No problem. I'll bring coffee. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, 
I think there's a couple more music ones we're missing, but well, we got we got to keep We the, can't yeah, we can't we gotta mention keep going. We gotta all keep of them going. guys. Keep going. Um also what, worth mentioning this well this is exciting actually okay. I feel is the launch of the Funko uh, soda can yeah. vinyl. I guess you can't call them pops cuz they're not pops. No, they're it is vinyl, vinyl figures in soda pop cans. Yeah, they're skinnier, they're taller than pops. Yeah. They're we'll put them up the image up here. Yeah, put the image up there. Yeah. By uh, us I mean Fish will put the image up uh, there I will, I and know. I'll critique it. Um <laughs> I think these are awesome. I love these. I yeah. mean, each one comes with well a chance of a chase. Every yeah. single one has a each chase. Each variant, which is which I thought was cool. It yeah. wasn't like yeah. it, there's a lot of them. It wasn't yeah. like there was just a bunch mentioned and like these two or three have a chance at a chase. Yeah. They all have a chance at a chase. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Each so, one has a chase variant. And they look cool. Yeah. And that's what I love about Funko is they're just trying to, to do new things, right? Yeah. And again, but they're also doing really cool characters. We, I think Dorbs are like done now, I think. Pretty much. And Vinyl is kind of still, I don't think they're doing any more Vinyl. I think Vinyl might be But out. these. These might be replacing Vinyl. This is a cool vinyl. idea. I love this idea. Yeah. I, th I think it's awesome. I don't know how the cans unscrew. I don't know if there's any videos out there on that. I'd love uh, to see. Nothing yet. I want to see how the cans unscrew and all that kind of so stuff. So just so you guys know, it's going to be a taller, skinnier figure, as K-Dog said. Yeah. And we weren't sure when these got announced whether it was literally going to be a can of soda, like mm -hmm. actual soda. Mm -hmm. And then the the figure and the logo around it and yeah. then the figure with it right or the fact that the figure is in the can yeah. and that is what we we found out so it will be the figure inside the can and you won't know if you get a chase or not until you open it amazing uh no liquid inside the can disappointing uh but that is a really cool concept and mm -hmm. we found out we are able to get all of them we've already so, pre-ordered them Boom. Bang. We pre ordered them. They'll be available. Uh, we, th again, with all of these reveals, it's going to take some time to get us uh, the products uh, pages up on the website, mm -hmm. but you will be able to pre order all of these that we mentioned mm -hmm. on kdogandfish.com, uh, including these cool soda figures, yeah. these soda vinyl figures. So Anything another, else? Uh, uh, There's some more worth mentioning worth ones. Mentioning. Uh, the craft. Yeah. Again, sure. Yeah. Uh, American Psycho. That's cool. Awesome. Also, also chase. Chance of a Chase. That's yeah. an amazing pop. Patrick Bateman. Uh, dinosaurs. Yeah, classic TV series. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gummy Bears, again. Disney's Gummy Bear, yeah. Um, oh, not on the K-Dog uh, Funkability scale, but for those of you that are into that... For those of you that are into Dinosaurs we're gonna and Gummy them. Bears, we're going to have them, but I'm giving it a full. Oh, um, Murder, She Wrote. Okay. <laughs> Listen. Look at me. We're only getting 175 of these. <laughs> if you you need to pre-order these fast, they are gonna go like hotcakes. Angela this is Lansbury. Angela Lansbury. It's limited a dish, guys. <laughs> limited a dish. That's not true. Get in on it. It is. It's not limited. This is gonna be the hottest pop of the year. That is not fast. Murder she wrote. Boom. For the people who are fans, I'm telling you right now, if we're getting a Murder, She Wrote pop, we are going to get a Matlock pop. It's coming for sure. If you're uh, if you're watching um, this show and you're a fan of Murder, She Wrote, why the hell are you watching this show? Because you don't know what the internet means. Yeah. <laughs> Funko pops. Yeah. Uh, also getting Fantasy Island. Um, That's awesome. I like that. Yeah. There's. It, it wasn't announced at the London Toy Fair, but we know we, we get a little more inside information mm. Uh, we were able to get our pre-orders as a retailer. Mm -hmm. So we know before anyone really what's coming. And a lot of these were on our pre-order, yeah. but no pictures. So we yeah. had no idea what they looked like. Had to order them blind. And one that was not on the London Toy Fair reveals uh, this week, but we know that is coming, is a yeah. Magnum PI. So that's cool. So awesome. Chest hair flocked. Come on. I don't know if it's going to be flocked. They should. And the mustache. But Hawaiian Hawaiian shirt. Got to have the Detroit gotta. Uh, baseball cap. Got to. Uh, but can you imagine if, okay, we know that we're getting this pop. Can yeah. you imagine if there is an exclusive that the mustache and chest hair are flocked? Oh, that would be hilarious. I literally would line up for that. <laughs> I'd camp out like it was literally uh, uh super bowl tickets super bowl tickets <laughs> honestly phantom menace camping out for there a week you go. Yeah. Oh. yeah thank you guys so much yeah. so again we're going to get these as many as we can available for pre-order soon on kdog and fish 
dot com. Uh, for more reveals, check out um, what we posted about on our social media. It, as soon as more get announced or we get them in or the pre-order pages are up on the website, yeah. we'll put that on uh, social media as well. So make sure you're following at KDog and Fish on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram especially. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to this show. Until next time, I am Fish. I can't stress this enough. We're only getting 175 of those murder she wrote. If you need, if you need one, you gotta get on this. Don't wait. I'm K Dog. Have a good night. We'll see you again soon. The London Toy Fair. I think you should do the entire episode with a British accent. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I'd like some Funko Pops, please. Let's discuss the human pups. I don't think I really do a pretty good British accent. I'm not. No, you're not an accent guy. I'm not an accent guy. No. no. All of a sudden, I have a spot of tea. <laughs> this is the Tim Hortons. We don't have spots of tea. You want a larger or an yeah, extra you want, large? You want a double double, lady? Yeah, you want it steeped or what do you want? It, you know, you want two bags in or you want what do you want? There's no. We don't do spots of tea here. Hmm. Just loosen it up, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's get ready to do the show. You know. You know, what grinds my gears. Now that you mentioned it. What? I don't understand why every one of these massive companies has to use a doorbell in their damn commercial. Like, wh like which commercials? Like that PetSmart commercial. Okay. And it's like, and the DoorDash and the, and the Uber Eats or and everything. Ring.com. Ring.com. We get it. Every single one of them has a stupid doorbell. And my dogs go crazy every single time. They think it's real. They think it's real. And they're barking on their asses <laughs> off. And they're running. I'm like, there's nobody there. And... The, when we're watching football, yeah, we're getting this the Canadian commercial. It's the same commercial every time. I gotta mute it. Ding dong. Because <laughs> there goes the dog again. <laughs> and we do, what do we need that for? Uh, we we get it, you know. <laughs> I don't, I, I, Uber Eats. Yeah, they're gonna bring it to your door. We get that. We don't need the doorbell. We know it's coming to your door. Uh, we don't need. There should be like a. They should. You should face jail time. Should there be a, a jail time? Jail time for this. Should there be like a limit? Or just none at all? None. Like zero. And again, my dogs are dumber than most. <laughs> they are. They are just dumb. They should be named Harry and Lloyd. They are just dumb, 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 dumb. Okay? <laughs> 70 pounds of stupid, uh... another seven pounds of dumber. Okay? But seriously, every he commercial I find... He loves his dogs, by the way. Not really. Every single commercial is a doorbell. Ding dong. Nonstop. You should rename the dogs Ding and Dong. Ding and Dong. Yeah. I don't know which is which because they're both equally as dumb. So I'd be, I don't know who it should. I think the big one will be Dong. <laughs> Gotta love the walking clinics. One step above. Rub some dirt on it. <laughs> yes. Literally just like, what's wrong? Uh, My back hurts. Why? I wiped out on the ice. Let's check it out. Yeah. You really, yeah. Looks yeah, like you yeah. really hurt yourself. Yeah. Did you try rubbing some dirt yeah. on it? What should I do? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Seriously, it was uh, and it took like an hour and a half wasting my time. You want a tetanus shot? I'm like, what is it? 1940? I need a tetanus shot. And then uh And she actually told me after the tetanus shot, yeah. she's like, You can now you can walk all, all across a bed of rusty nails. And I was like, Well, great, because that's what I'm doing on Sunday. <laughs> that's that's an afternoon. Honestly, God, that's what she said. I'm like, well, great. So I this is what this you is. You have for, carte blanche to cut yourself. Yeah. So yeah. this is now. I'm totally rusty You're nails. Immune. I can just literally grab rusty nails and just jam them in my skin. And I'm totally fine. That's something you would love to do. Yeah. Like that's just it. Tetanus. I don't even know tetanus is a real thing anymore. Do people still get tetanus? It's like scurvy. You know, yeah. like tetanus. Like, what do you need tetanus for? Yeah, polio. People still get polio. I feel bad. If you suffer from polio and you're a subscriber to the show, I apologize. <laughs> K-Dog and Fish merch. Yeah. I think we got to do this. Full line coming out. We had a lot of requests after you were wearing it in the last video. Jackets, t-shirts, hats, toques. Mugs. Pencil cases. Pencil cases. <laughs> Travel bags. Suitcases. Whatever your heart desires. Wine coolers, martini glasses. <laughs> you name it, we're doing Beer it. Beer cozies. We are selling the hell out. <laughs> we're putting our name on everything. Trying to get our own protein bar right now. Get on the boosh. Yeah. <laughs>